All right, guys, so it's been a long, long time since I've actually updated the tier list for Cookie Run Kingdom. So we're going to be doing this today ahead of what we're going to be getting in the future with the new update that is coming out with my cookie. This one is going to be the PvP tier list here, guys. So uh, just keep that in mind. I've changed a lot of different things in the lower tier. Uh, I kind of had a lot of, uh, you know, drops because the arena meta, it has expanded, but a lot more of the stronger cookies are actually being used now. A lot of the other cookies are being coming a lot irrelevant inside of the arena. So just keep that in mind. But of course, just know that it is going to be based on my experience as well as my opinion um, that I've been seeing around and I've got from other players as well. So here we go, guys. Let's get it started. And starting off, it's going to be D tier here from Sonic all the way up to Tiger Lily. Not much has changed here except that Dark Choco actually has been uh, removed from the D tier because of the new Magic Candy. From C tier, it's going to be from Candy Diver all the way up to Cherry Blossom. Nothing has really changed here as well here. And then uh, for the B tier, it's going to be from Butter Roll all the way up to the um, Red Velvet. Uh, so this thing that I've changed here is that all the summoners as well as Camera Shoe has been brought down to B tier because, you know, they're not really being used as much here anymore. At, I mean, not even anymore at all really here. Um, so that's the case here. And then from A tier, it's going to be from Milky Way all the way up to our furled jellyfish. So you can see as well that Dark Cacao, the non-awakened version, is still going to be in A tier. I think I, it's better to put that in there. And then uh, distinguish the Dragon Lord. Before you awaken Dark Cacao, you have to use the regular version. They're not really great. And you actually need to awaken it in order to actually become the meta. So that is the case. And then I brought down someone like Pattaya as well as T-Knight to A tier. They're not really being used as much like at all too, uh, but they're still pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, everything else is just kind of like the same here, guys. I'm really hoping to see possibly in the future Eclair's Magic Candy. All right, next one is going to be from the S tier. So S tier from Moonlight all the way up to BTS. Really, a lot of these cookies have been here for some time, all right? And they're still okay. They're still good. They can be used. But um, I did drop Strawberry Crate from SS tier to down to the S tier. And you guys can see like Captain Caviar as well as Rebel, Black Raisin, uh, Black Lemonade are uh, going to be in the S tier as well. Shining Glitter and some of the uh, decent support as well as slash healers that are going to be you know viable but not really uh when it comes to the higher ranks as well okay now the really the big meat of the tier list is going to come from the meta as well as the ss tier so let's start with the meta tier of course just like always and that is going to be starting off with the dragon lord dark cow absolutely busted right now we have mystic flower we still have stormbringer here elder fairy Financier, white lily as well as frost queen black pearl and stardust golden cheese and pure vanilla so this is what i think is currently the meta um i guess we can argue that pure vanilla as well as something like black pearl and maybe possibly golden cheese as well or maybe even including uh, elder fairy are very close to non-meta as well but i've seen a lot of these cookies running around the arena as well right now uh, especially a lot of the higher ranking uh, players do see these cookies still being used but you have to realize that this is going to be the main teams right here Starting with Dragon Lord Dark Account, absolutely broken right now. Uh, the best quote unquote tank. And then aside from that, uh, you will use the Defendant here or Stormbringer alongside someone like Dark Account. And then for the healer, of course, you're going to have Mystic Flower. And then uh, you will have someone like White Lily or even Frost Screen because Stardust right now is also going around a lot, lot, lot inside of the arena. Because to counter someone like White Lily, to counter even someone like uh, Dark Cow, Dragon Lord Dark Cow, because they don't have any curse protection right now inside of the arena. And then besides from that, you still see Black Pearl kind of being used inside of Dark uh, Cacao team because of the fact that Dark Cacao usually is not really used with Dark Cookies, which means that the rally effect of Dark Cacao is not really effective for other cookies. Uh, however, Black Pearl still has that damage resistance bypass, which can be used by every single cookie. So that's the reason why Black Pearl is still being used. Elder Fairy still has that, um, you know, taunting effect to, to counter someone like Stardust so that your White Lily is protected. You have someone like Golden Cheese with the revive, uh, still pretty good damage and all of that. And then Pure Vanilla actually is being used a lot too right now to get the healing going on because, uh, you know, Mystic Flower plus Pure Vanilla is insane heal uh, when there's no Stormbringer, which does happen. 
uh, you're able to get that HP shield as well. You have injury uh, alleviation from Dragon Lord Dog Cow. So those are all going to be the things that are being used inside of the arena right now. And I believe it's the current meta. So as you guys can see right now, the only one that's surviving is Finisir. Finisir has been in the meta for the longest time, in my opinion, as an epic cookie now. But kind of sad to see that nothing else is uh, kind of being used. So hopefully this does change uh, later down the line as well. And then from the SS tier is going to be Crimson Coral. We have Fettuccine. We have Cloud Hate, Burnt Cheese. Um, put Hollaberry right over here. We have Dark Choco now in SS tier as well. We have Tuzi Gummy as well as Blue Ray Pie. I'm still going to put Cran Blay here. I'm going to put Caramel Arrow as well with Parfait as well as Peach Blossom, Icicle Yeti, and Snapdragon. So um, a lot of these cookies you have already seen in the SS tier. Um, I would say Dark Choco is the new one that has been uh, added because Dark Choco, the crit damage increase as well as darkness time increase can actually work really, really well for some teens not all teens but still very viable still very, very good uh that's why caramel arrow can be used as well caramel arrow is a lot better with darker cow being awakened with that rally effect however still lacking a bit of that burst damage in my opinion needs to survive until that one minute mark peach blossom is a great healer in my opinion as well uh damages is uh increased you know we have healing uh we have a lot of different things going on for uh peach blossom so i'm gonna have to put peach blossom at ss tier and then Icicle Yeti as well as Snapdragon. Snapdragon is actually coming back here and there. Not really as much as we have seen in middle of the kind of updates. But uh, it, it's still viable somehow. People are kind of figuring out ways to use Snapdragon with Mystic Flower. So there is that as well. Especially because, again, Stormbringer is being used a little bit less. With, uh, you know, people using Dark Cow plus something like, uh, you know, Financia rather than with the Stormbringer sometimes. All right, but there we go, guys. Uh, very short tier list. Um, I wanted to keep it concise for you guys. Uh, keep it very short so that you guys know exactly what cookies are being used. Sadly, Arena right now is becoming a lot of just the higher level, uh, higher rarity cookies just dominating the top arenas. Hopefully, again, that this does change. Some epics are able to come back into the arena meta, use a lot more, and hopefully change the pace of things uh, where a lot of players are still able to go and climb. The one thing that I'm really, really hoping for that Dev Sisters do add is that they add a way for all players to get Mystic Flower because, again, right now inside of the arena, it's almost impossible to climb the ranks above even Elite something like 3, 2 if you don't have Mystic Flower. And then when you have Mystic Flower, it comes down to do you have the 2 second star or the 3 second star? And then it comes down to, you know, promotions and ascension and stuff like that too. And then, of course, uh, Dark Cow's uh, banner Apparently it's another 16, 17 days left, but the mission does end in about like three or four days, which is the next update. So that's a little weird for me in my opinion. I hope that they do change that extended so that more players are able to actually obtain this cookie after especially after all the craziness that has taken place. So hopefully that does change. But there we go, guys. That's gonna be the July, uh, middle of July 2024 PvP arena tier list. Hope you guys found the video helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have anything that you guys would like to change or add on to. And also if you guys didn't check out the videos in front of you guys, then do so right now. Thanks for watching.